Welcome to Physics Off. Today, once again, we'll be discussing a problem from just 2016. And this problem is from electromagnetic theory. And this is a very standard problem. And very often you get a problem like this. So let's start. The problem reads like this. A point charge Q of mass M is released from rest at a distance D from an infinite rounded conducting plane ignore gravity how does how long does it take for the charge to hit the plane so this is the charge q of mass m and it is placed at some distance d from an infinite grounded conducting plane so as you know if a charge is placed in front of an infinite grounded conducting plane then an image charge will be induced which will be having same properties but of negative nature so minus q charge will be uh, induced exactly at the same distance as this d okay now we have now two charges of opposite nature but of same magnitude therefore the force from coulomb's law we can write it as q1 q2 by 4 pi epsilon not r square now the distance between the two charges d plus d 2d that's why r is replaced by 2d and q into q1 into q2 means q into q and one charge is minus so a minus sign has been introduced and this should be equals to m into db dt so this is the force and this is from newton's law m into db dt db dt is the acceleration therefore d square x by dt square b equal to dx dt so d square x by dx dt square this becomes q square by 4 16 pi epsilon naught m x square okay so we are not writing d we are writing in in general term x but this term q square by 16 pi epsilon naught m this term is constant we are writing it as k so this is become minus k by x square what do we have to find out how long does it take for the charge to hit the plane we have to find out the time okay to uh, so it has to uh, travel a distance d to from here to here but you have it has to uh, surpass the effect of this minus q charge and we are calculating for this charge also so d square x by dt square is minus k by x square now what you are doing we are just multiplying both the side with dx by dt so upon multiplying by dx by dt we see that it is becoming v into db dt equal to minus k by x square dx dt okay and v into db dt can be written as d dt of v square by 2 and this can be written as d dt of k by x now integ integrating the both integrating both sides we get v square by 2 equal to k by x plus c now we get an integrator integration constant now we have to remove it using the conditions given in the question now the question reads that the particle was released from rest so at when x equal to d the particle v equals to 0 so we are measuring the distance from the infinite grounded plane so x equal to 0 here and x equal to d here and at this point the velocity of the uh, charge was 0 so v equals to 0 at x equal to d using this condition in this equation we get c equals to minus k by d therefore we get this relationship and from this relationship we get v equals to plus minus root over 2 k into 1 by x minus 1 by d now we have two options to take but we are choosing here minus sign why we are choosing you can choose uh, plus sign also but if you uh, do the calculation with plus sign you will face some difficulty for the timing i don't know the uh, what kind of difficulty you will encounter but i have tried with plus sign but i get some difficulty so you will start with a minus sign so in your exam you have to try both the ways but uh, if you start with positive you will get some uh, physical impossibility so uh, we have to discard that okay so we are taking negative sign only you can try with positive sign also and you find it why you can know you should not take plus sign here so dx by dt equals to minus root over 2k by d into root over d minus x by x now integrating both sides 
So we have just separated the x term and t terms, and we just taking the integration. So the particle is coming from distance d to zero and with time zero to t. So, so these are the integration limit uh, d to zero and zero to t. And um, to solve this integration, to carry out this integration, we took x equal to u square. Therefore, dx equal to u du. Now we have to change the limit accordingly in terms of u. So we make this table and um, we just replace the values of this uh, upper limit and lower limit, and uh, we got integration like this. Now we have to use this formula. This is an in. Uh, this is. You can uh, carry out this formula manually, but sometimes in just question I have seen this they already they do provide this uh, integration formula. So be sure that they will give you this type of integration formula because if they don't give you then the calculation will become very clumsy and long. So you can expect that this integration will be given to your question. So using this simple formula, we can find out uh, this. We can just put the values. It's very similar. We just replaced it and put the limit, and we find that t equals to root over d q by 2 k into pi by 2. And uh, we just replace the value of k from this expression. K equal to q square by 16 pi epsilon naught m. And we just replace the value of k here. You get the time t equals to root over twice pi q d q epsilon naught m divided by q and it matches with option a so this question was a very good problem that's why i shared it with you hope you will like it and hope you will be benefited from this so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you are a new visitor of this channel please subscribe the channel don't forget to press the bell icon and finally thanks for watching